Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and I'm with EatDrinkComoxValley.com. We're a sponsor of the flavor event happening in Black Creek in the Comox Valley here September 23rd. It's sold out. There are ways of getting tickets, but right now I'm interviewing Mandolin, because she's one of the exhibitors at Flavors. Mandolin, how did you hear about Flavor? I got an email from Avery, who was putting it on, and uh, it was this beautiful invitation um, with links, and, and once I checked it out, I was so excited. They invited me, and I was... I was Why were you excited? I was super excited because, I mean, A, it's like this amazing showcase of all of these beautiful artisans and chefs and, and renaissance, you know, foodies of, of that we have here in the Valley, this great grassroots movement. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you know, it was kind of like flattering for me to be invited because it's, you know, Avenue, Atlas, Blue Moon Winery, and, and me, Island Soda Works. <laughs> and that cool. was really cool. <laughs> I felt like I so, got to play. So what do you do here at Island Soda Obviously, they invite you for a reason. I make naturally fermented, uh, extremely low, no sugar soda pop. Uh, so I showcase local ingredients. Uh, this week I had Gravenstein apple with salted Gravenstein apple. I have blackberry and rosemary, which is really in season right now. Um, I have uh, grassy point cucumber, fresh mint, fresh lime. And I also had a uh, good earth farm strawberry and black peppercorn. So something, I make soda pop, crazy soda pops, uh, fermented. And these are changing as the season changes. Yeah. So, I mean, I have people that come up and still want my rhubarb sweet basil one, and, and unfortunately it's gone, gone until next year. <laughs> okay, so the flavor event is a couple of weeks away. The season will change. What might we see that's different there? Um, at Flavor, I'm going to be trying really hard to focus on the people that are also going to be at Flavor. So I'm going to be doing the cucumber one, and they're reserving cucumbers for me. And uh, and just bringing out, you know, it's the end of the season. Things are really fresh, really ripe. So there's definitely going to be a blackberry one. And then some old favorites, like my sugar-free pomegranate rose petal and honey one. is definitely going to be there. Okay, well, I'm going to look forward to that. But I also know that that come the winter, when things are kind of like dead here, there's still flavor stuff happening. So what kind of pop can we expect from you then? In the winter, I'm really excited about more apples, more pears. I've been freezing things. And then I'm also, there's a lot of really nice things I can do with Harmonic Arts Botanical Dispensary in Cumberland. So with their burdock root and licorice twigs and dandelion root and cherry bark, I make this amazing old-timey root beer. I, I have a really amazing spicy ginger beer. And then just working with different spices, you know, like I'm, I've been working on a turmeric allspice kind of thing. And wow. yeah, so some really warming, delicious, by the fire soda pop and you're at the markets the midweek market and the Saturday markets all through the year uh, there is no midweek market all through the year, so the Saturday market is going to be where you can find me. But I'm uh, I'm actually really excited to network with some restaurateurs and get my soda pop out wholesale. So it'll be uh, at your favorite restaurant on a keg, fresh, local, and delicious. Cool. Now we must say this is like a different kind of soda pop. It's naturally fermented. There's like low sugar or something. I don't know how you do that. The, the lactobacillus and the probiotic yeast. The yeast actually eat the sugar, and the sugar is in the fruit to create the carbon dioxide so that's what creates the bubbles so the, the it's a living soda pop it's living right now so you're replenishing what ails you and you've got all these um, super amazing I mean once you drink it I have addicts you know people are addicted to it it's super rehydrating if you mix it with alcohol you don't get hung over it's gorgeous low sugar diabetics can have it or people who are on sugar-free diets can have it because the sugar has all been processed it's been eaten and by the time you get it it's just a, a delicious fermented beverage. Well, I, I do like some of these flavors a lot, and I, I like what I've been able to do at, at, at my, my cocktail hours. Um, I'm also looking forward to what you do at, at Flavor. It's sold out event, and we have a contest, and if somebody takes a photograph of Mandolin's product and it wins the photo contest, they get a case of pop from her. I don't know if any other vendors are willing to match what, what uh, Madeline's doing here, but um, take a look at our links at the bottom of this video. And uh, thank you very much for talking to me thank here. You. I'm super excited and I'll see you on uh, September 23rd. All the cool kids will be there. <laughs> okay, see you there. And thank you very much for watching.